All right. And hello and welcome on this cold Friday evening to Harrison High School, where tonight we have Southwest Ohio Conference action, the Harrison Wildcats taking on the Edgewood Cougars. Hello, I am Bill Bretz. Glad you have joined us here on this broadcast, and we are streaming this live tonight, so glad you uh, are joining us. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the Edgewood Cougars. Cougars are coached by Jason Osterman. He's in his second year. Last year, he was coach of the year because his team was league champions last year. That's her first uh, SWAT championship. They lost three of their top four scores, including player of the year, Caleb Allen. So it's definitely a rebuilding year here for the Cougars. Right now, they're trying to break a five game losing streak. They come in two and nine, one and three overall. Tuesday, though, they lost a close one to Mount Health. They almost broke that streak, only losing to the Owls by two points. As I said, they're in a rebuilding program, but they do have the league's leading score. It's the number three out there for, uh, for the uh, Cougars. That's Peyton Smith. He's averages just over 15 points a game. Also, Colin, uh, Colton Hunt, who was a starter last year, he was injured, was out for seven games, but he's been back now. And uh, he was a key person last year's uh, game. Harrison come in six and six. They are two and two in the league, coached by Andy Marks in his eighth year. They are a tale of two cities here. They started the season one and five. They lost four of their first five games by six points or less. But Coach Marks said the young players have stepped up. The team has, uh, has come together. And since then, they have won five of the six, including a big win this last Tuesday over Ross, 53 to 51. Luke Rogers had a career night that night, 29 points, including the winning basket and six three-pointers. Harrison's never won a SWAC championship. They are right in the hunt, though, for one right now. The teams have met 21 times before. Since that time, Harrison has won 11 of the 21. We're going to step out for just a moment here and come back for your starters. And for tonight's game, don't go away. for the stolen base. Well, pretty exciting, especially if you're a Harrison Wildcats fan. Do you want to retire like a champ? Just like legendary basketball star Uncle Drew? Don't do it like that, Uncle Drew. You're already acing the game. You've got your dream ride. Don't be slamming my door. Sorry about that. Uh, you just did this. Nah. Gotta get the boys. Your dream vacation and your dream team. And now you can make your retirement just as legendary. I can't. Buckets. Get the tips you need to get on track at aceyourretirement.org.
or online. This is media for your community. This is ICRC TV. It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. Why did they have fit? And we are back here at Harrison High School. Bill Bress, glad you join us here on this Friday the 13th. You know, if you uh, have a fear of 13, you're Trisodecophobia. So if you are watching this broadcast, you've got Trisodecophobia, you hopefully you're watching from your safe place here tonight. Let's talk about the starting lineups here tonight for the Edgewood Cougar, Edgewood Cougars. As we said, they come in two and nine overall, one and three in the league. They will be starting Peyton Smith, as we mentioned before, the league leading score right now, 15-3 a game, five rebounds a game, 2.1 assists. Also starting Colton Hunt, 6.5, 5.5 rebounds, 2.0 on assists. He's uh, fourth, fifth in the league in steals and percentage-wise right now. A six-foot junior, Jaden Berry, 5.2 game, 2.7. Six-foot-three senior, Evan Swartz, 5.3 a game, 2.6 rebounds. And a six-two junior, no relation to Peyton Smith, is Braden Smith, 5.1, 3.5 rebounds. He's fifth in the league in blocks. For their Harrison Wildcats, coached by Andy Marks, six and six we said overall. They are winners of their la five of their last six games, two and two in the league. They're Luke Rogers, 10.9 a game, 5.5 rebounds, 3.2 in assists. He's second in the league in assists and second in steals. He's a six foot three junior. Evan Winnie. Evan is uh, 8.4 gain, 2.7. He's a six foot senior. Six foot three senior is Jacob Pittman. And Jacob Pittman is uh, averaging 2.3 a game, 2.4 on the rebounds. Also starting Kyle Bill, follower point eight a gain, 3.0 on rebounds. He's a six foot three senior. And a six six senior, Caleb Robinson. 13.3 a game, 6.3 rebounds. He's fourth in the league in rebounds, second in scoring, and second in field goal percentage. And you can see now the starters being introduced. Our officials tonight, Rob Wolf is our referee. Kevin Larson and Paul Maffey are our officials for the game tonight. And we are actually streaming this live, as we said, on uh, icrc.com but also on spectrum channel 4 and ultra fiber channel 834 so you people are welcome watching us live we welcome you to the game tonight so should be a good contest here tonight um, said this edgewood team coming off their first uh, SWAT championship last year kind of rebuilding this year but uh but they've got colton hunt back and uh coach hosterman I think is, is glad to see him back right now because he was a starter last year along with uh, Peyton Smith. Harrison Wildcats, so is Luke Rogers. He's the guy to watch. He's coming off his career game, 29 points against Ross. Big win against Ross, including a winning basket. And Cougars get the tip as we get this game started here tonight. And that's Peyton Smith with the ball. Schwartz. Three-point attempt by Swartz, no good. Rebounded, though, by Jacob Pittman. As Evan Winnie now brings the ball up the floor. Evan, a real veteran in this program. He's been uh, very active on the program since his freshman year. Cross-court pass. Rogers and the in the corner. Harrison had nice passing around there, but nothing comes up of it. We played a minute now, nobody has scored. Edgewood, Smith dishes it off. Back to the top of the key now. Drive on the baseline, shot put up. That's no good by Braden Smith. 
Mike Rogers with the ball now for the Wildcats. In the lane, nice little drive, but just falls short here for Kyle Bill. Edgewood back the other direction now. Having a hard time, intercept, and it's stolen by Rogers. Rogers knocked out of bounds, and he is going to be fouled. The foul is on Colton Hunt. That's his first, and that is the team's first. Rogers now be triggering in from out of bounds. In front of the Edgewood bench. I'm sorry, I was underneath. I was looking at Rogers underneath. But just like that, that was underneath the basket. I was looking the other direction. Sorry about that. It's my first game of the season. I guess I got to get used to basketball here. That was uh, Caleb Robertson with the basket underneath, an easy basket. Putting his Wildcats up by two. Peyton Smith dishes it off. Out of bounds, it went off of a Harrison player, so it's going to stay down at Cougars in. Smith going to trigger it in right in front of the Harrison bench. Smith and ball working off of a pick. Nice, nice pass underneath. Barry could not get the ball to drop. And there's a pass underneath, a nice feed. That's Colton, Caleb Robertson's second basket. Evan winning a nice feed underneath, and Edgewood is going to call a timeout. So uh, first timeout called here by the... Uh, first timeout called by the... Uh, the Cougars here, as you can see the Cougar bench here. We got a break right here, right now. I'm gonna, we're gonna do some thank yous uh, more than once here tonight, but I do wanna thank uh, Mark Mybers, the athletic director here at Harrison. It's always a great place for us to come out here for ICRC uh, TV. Uh, they always welcome us out here and we appreciate uh, what they're doing out here. Glad to cover the, the Wildcats out here. So thank you to Coach Mybers, also Coach March and Coach Osterman for providing information for us. We'll go over some other thank yous a little bit later on here. Back to action though again. And there's a tough basket underneath there. Colton Hunt, he gets the basket. Had a knee injury actually before a practice. Was out for seven games, but you can see that left leg wrapped up pretty good there for Colton. It seems to be moving pretty good out there. Now this Cougar is the first two points. Rogers drives in the paint. Kicks it back out and that is good. Three point by Colton Robertson, who has all seven of the points for the Wildcats as they're up now seven to two. A little kick out in there, a little baseline drive, ball is knocked up, and back, Rogers comes back the other direction and he is fouled. And that looks like it's going to be on Hunt. If it is, that's his second. It is indeed. It's his second foul, so he has two fouls right now. Coach Osterman now has a decision to make. Is he going to keep him on the floor here? Meanwhile, Rogers at the foul line. He's a 67% foul shooter. Gets that one to roll in, his first point. And Hunt is coming out. Being replaced by number 11, Connor Ballantyne. He's a junior. Rogers' second attempt. 
is good. So Wildcats take a seven point lead early on in this game. Approaching about the halfway point of the first quarter. There's a drive almost lost by Peyton, gaining it back. Three point attempt is no good. Back the other direction and the ball is in. Nice drive for Evan Winia all the way. Coast to coast on that one. Winia, his first basket. And oh, we have a player down on the floor here. So that is a Harrison player. Looking down there, I believe it might be Winnie because he was one that drove for the basket. It was a, uh, he went coast to coast and hit the floor hard. Right now, the uh, Harrison training staff is, is looking over him. He will be coming out of the game no matter what right now. So, still down, taking your time with him. Down, let's talk a little bit about Andy Marks. As we said, in his eighth year as coach there, um, he was an assistant at Oak Hills for several years, and he was also the Oak Hills head coach from 2005 to 2011. So he has had some uh, success. The last couple years, uh, well, last year they were 13-9 and nine overall, 6-4 and four in the league. They were second in the league last year to Edgewood. All right, well, we have uh, Evan Winnie is still down on the floor right now. I think what we're going to do is we might step out here for a moment and uh, come back if we've got a break ready here. We'll come back here. He's getting up. I see now what the problem is. He got hit in the head. So we're going to go to a break, and we'll be back in just a moment. And uh, Evan Winnie did walk off the floor. It looked like they had uh, some gauze up there. It looked like he had a cut on his on his head, but uh, he did walk off the floor. So good news for that. Three-point attempt, no good. Nice rebound by number 10, Jacob Pittman. He's had a couple rebounds so far. Donovan McCain has come in for Evan Winia. And that is stolen by Rogers. Easy basket. Luke Rogers, four points now. As the Harris Wildcats now have an 11 point lead. Winnie is at the end of the bench right now. They got, looks like they have some ice on his head there, so. He might be back in. We'll see what happens. That is blocked by Robertson. Not no good. Rebounded by Valentine over the Peyton. Peyton Smith, top of the key, he's driving, a little spin move, and he tosses it back out. Now baseline drive, and chop put up, eh, but no good. By number 24, Braden Smith. 
Foul is on Jacob Pittman. That's a first foul for the, uh, the Wildcats. Braden Smith, 22% foul shooter, misses the first one. One thing about the Sedgwick Cougars, they're not a good foul shooting team. The, old, the team on the average is 47%. And they miss both of them on that one. On the other hand, Harrison is 70% foul shooting team. There's a drive, a little shot in the paint and in for Jacob Pittman, his first basket. And shot is up and in by Jalen Berry. Barry, his first basket. Fourth point now for the Cougars as we're approaching a minute 20 mark here in the first quarter. It's been all Wildcats so far. There's a shot underneath to Robertson and can't hold on to it. Scramble underneath and taken away. Evan Schwartz. Pass underneath to Ballantyne was broken up in a foul. The foul was on Donovan McCain. Aiden McKendrick is in for the uh, Harrison Wildcats. Pass out of bounds. 47.3 seconds to go here. Quarter number one. Harrison has a chance to expand on that lead right now. Rogers bringing the ball over the floor. Ben McMur McMurdo is also in a game for Harrison. Who almost telegraphed that pass, but no good and rebounded by Edgewood. 15 seconds ago. See if the Cougars will play for one or they're just going to try to get on the board any way they can. Peyton Smith with the ball. Peyton. Little step up jumper right there. And shot is no good. And we have come to the end of the first quarter. Well, it's been all Wildcats the first quarter as they are up 15 to four. We'll be back in just a moment for second quarter action. selfless more than the food itself a lot of seniors don't have family so just to have someone to talk to just to say hey how was your day that means so much more than a meal could ever mean we have to look outside of ourselves to be that lifeline to other people it's worth it and we're back here for second quarter action bill bretts and uh Good news for Harrison is Evan Winham back in the ball game. Three point shot from the baseline. No good went over the backboard here. So be Edgewood ball. Eddie Thompson now in for Edgewood number four.
Oh, nice brew, a nice feed underneath. Peyton Smith gets his first basket. Connor Valentine had a nice feed underneath there. And he is fouled by Kyle Bill. That's his first, team's third. And he makes the foul shot. So Peyton Smith now on the board here. He's a 66% foul shooter. He's actually one of the best foul shooters for the team. Eight point lead now for the Wildcats. Working around the perimeter. Three point shot, no good. Peyton Smith with the rebound, trying to take it coast to coast. And it falls short. Evan Winnie right underneath the basket there. Another three-point shot. No good. As they said, it, neither team is very particularly good at three-point shooting, and neither team really has taken a whole lot of three-point shots this year. Well, they say you can live and die by the three-point shot. Although Luke Rogers had six of 12 the other night. Top of the key, that is good, and that is a three-point. As we, as we speak right now, Connor Valentine gets a three-pointer. Brings his Cougars back within five now. Harrison had a double-digit lead at one time. Cougars trying to whittle that lead down. Bill, he's trying to kick it out. Oh, nice feed. Oh, Evan Winnie misses the shot. Oh, miscue by the uh, Cougars. And the ball was taken by Ben McMurdo, but McMurdo misses the foul shot, but he is fouled by number 32, Ryan Wortley. He's in the ball game now for uh, Edgewood. That's the third foul on the Cougars. 50% Foul shooter has been. Gets the first one. Colton Hunt is back in the ball game. He's playing with two fouls right now. Number 10 and also Jalen Berry is back in the ball game for the Cougars. Second attempt now by McMurdo. Oh, that was close to uh, one of the Edgewood players falling into the lane there, but was not called. There's a drive in the paint. Shot is up. No good. Offensive rebound, though, by the oh, offensive rebound. By the Cougars, Connor Valentine got the offensive rebound, then dribbled it off his foot out of bounds, so it's Wildcat ball. First quarter, Harrison out rebounded. Harrison out rebounded Edgewood 9 to 4 in that first quarter. There's a shot in the paint by Evan Winia. He has his fourth point. That one was a little easier than his first basket. And stolen by Luke Rogers. And Rogers is fouled. 
and it's going to go to the line. Foul is on number 11, Connor Ballantyne. That's his first. That's the team's fourth. Rogers. Now three for three. 67% foul shooter, improving that average right now. Peyton Smith back in the ball game as uh, Connor Ballantyne takes a seat on the bench for the Cougars. And we see number 21, Joe Banks. 6'1 junior in the ball game for Harrison. And replaces Bill. Rogers gets them both. He now has six points. Long three-point shot by Smith, or I'm sorry, not Smith. That was uh, number four, Eddie Thompson. So just as we say both teams are not very good three-point th shooters, Edgewood has made two of them now in this half, this quarter. In the paint again, and Winnie, and offensive rebound put back up and rolls off the rim by Robertson. Edgewood quickly back the other direction. And the basket is in, going coast to coast as Colton Hunt, he has four points. Back to a five point ball game now. Edgewood has outscored Harrison 11-5 so far in this quarter. Almost stolen. Oh. When he was trying to find Robertson underneath, Robertson couldn't hold on to it. Now Edgewood have a chance to get back, possibly within a possession. Let's see what happens. Nice feed and the basket is no good. Nice feed by Ryan Wortley. Mason Marksbury in the ball game here for Harrison. He picks up a foul. And that puts Colton Hunt, 56% foul shooter, at the line. He gets that one. Colton now has five points. Average is 6.5 a game. I tell you, probably good news for Coach Oster Osterman is it doesn't look like he's being affected too much by that knee injury. Kyle Bill back in the ball game now for uh, Harrison Wildcats. He's triggering the ball in and knocked out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds by the Cougars. So Bill again will get a chance to do this, this time in front of his own bench. And Rogers. Rogers bringing the ball over the timeline for the Wildcats. Under three minutes to go here in the first half. And Luke Rogers trying to baseline drive, didn't make it. He was fouled by Jalen Berry. That's the fifth foul now for the Cougars. Luke Rogers is making a living here at the foul line tonight. The junior has made six out of six, has eight points in the game. Three-point shot, long three-point shot. And that's by Eddie Thompson. That's his second one. Eddie Thompson came in. He had 11 three-pointers coming into the game. And we're going to have a foul coming up. Looks like they're going to call on Ryan Wortley. They called on Wortley. And yeah, they did, but it was not a shooting foul. That's a sixth foul now for uh, Edgewood. Rodgers with the drive. 
Say he's going to make a living here tonight at the foul line. Forces another foul, this one on Eddie Thompson. And that is the seventh foul for the Cougars. So Harris will be in a bonus for the rest of this half. Roger makes that one. Bill back out of the ball game right now. Takes a seat in the bench as uh, Devin McCain, Donovan McCain, I'm sorry, back in the ball game for Harrison. Well, broke his streak of seven in a row, but still not a bad night of seven out of eight foul shooting for uh, Rogers. Three-point attempt, no good. Rebound taken by Winnie, but stolen right back by stolen right back by Barry. He tried to dish it off to uh, Peyton Smith, but Peyton couldn't hang on to it. Okay, we're going to have to, just to let you know, just a little FYI right now, we have to stop the live stream right now. We have a little technical difficulty. We'll try to have that back to you. We'll have that back to you after halftime. There we go. There is a shot is put up and in by Jacob Pittman, his second basket. Back to a five-point lead. Peyton Smith with the ball. Been relatively quiet. He's had a basket and a foul shot here tonight. Only three points. And Evan Swartz picks up a foul here for... The Cougars, that's their eighth foul. I don't know why they're not shooting. Oh, offensive foul, okay. Winnie the Pittman. Adam McCain. Rogers gonna drive the paint again, and this time in. It's only his second basket. That's his 11th point. Colton Hunt back in the ball game for the Cougars, replacing Jalen Berry. About 40 seconds go here in the first half. Down to 20 seconds to go. Ball knocked out of bounds in its last touch by the Cougars. So with 21 seconds to go, Barry back in the ball game. Colton Hunt takes a seat on the bench. Harrison have one more shot at it here. Evan Winnie now bringing the ball slowly up the timeline and is knocked away by Peyton Smith and they're gonna call him for a foul. That's Smith first. That's a ninth foul now with 14.8 seconds to go. Evan Winnie, a 83%, 83% foul shooter. Misses that. Rare miss for him. 10 seconds to go, and Jason Osterman's going to call a timeout, his second timeout that he's called. So with 10.2 seconds to go here in the first half, you see the Harrison Wildcats up by seven points over the uh, Edgewood Cougars. I guess we'll take a... Now we're going to hold that off to the second half. 
will tell you that uh, something that Coach Mark said about Caleb Robertson. He says he's really developed into a great player this year. Uh, he was more of a perimeter player, but he's now expanded it. Um, he's uh, both on the boards and uh, in the post. He finishes well around the basket. It's been a big reason for their recent success here. So he said they're six and six and won five out of the last six ball game. Kayla leads the team in not only scoring, but also rebounding. All right, 10.2 seconds to go. Kate Smith triggering the ball in for the Cougars. Right back to Smith. That's probably the guy you want in the hands, and Smith's going to make a drive for the basket, and he doesn't make it. Is he fouled? He, they said he is fouled. Jacob Pittman picks up his second foul with 2.6 seconds to go in the quarter. Peyton Smith at the line. 66% foul shooter. There for two, he's got that one. He's got four points. Pittman. Thought Pittman was coming out, I think he's still in. Makes them both. One second to go and ball thrown over the basket. And we're going to go to the halftime with the Harrison Wildcats still up. 27 to 22. We will be back for second half action in just a moment. Don't go away. Average compared to uh, Edgewood's 39%, three for seven for the Cougars for 42% from the three point range, and one for seven for Harrison for only 14% from the three point range. Harrison is shooting 72% from the foul line, and the Cougars are shooting uh, uh, up above their average 71% from the foul line. Rebounds. Uh, Edgewood holds a 13 to 12 lead on that. Turnovers though, that's the big news right here. Nine turnovers for the Cougars, only four for the Harrison Wildcats. Although Edgewood has nine points off the bench though. As far as the scoring goes, Peyton Smith, five points for Her um, Edgewood. Eddie Thompson, two three-pointers for six points. Colton Hunt, six points. Connor Ballantyne, a three-pointer and Jalen Berry, two points. For the Harrison Wildcats, Evan Winia went out for the injury but came back. Well, they had a, a cut there around his eye, right eye. But he came back, he has four points. Ben McMurdo has one point. Jacob Pittman has four points. Caleb Robinson has seven, all of them. In, uh, actually, the first uh, seven points of the game were Caleb Robinson. And Luke Rogers, leading scorer for everyone right now with 11 points as we start our second half. We'll go over our crew here when we get a chance. But right off the bat, I want to thank Michael Asher. He's out there. He's the guy that drove the truck, our producer director. Thank you, Michael, for coming out on this cold night here in Harrison on Friday the 13th. Hope you're not superstitious. Wood. Harrison coming out. Looks like a man-to-man -man defense right now for the Wildcats. Pate Smith, a little spin move, and partially blocked, but put back up and in. And for Smith, that is his seventh point. 
They've done a pretty good job in holding the leading scorer in the league down. Shot underneath, no good. And that is broken up by Evan Winnium. Peyton Smith going to trigger the ball in right in front of us. Long three-pointer off the backboard. But we have a foul coming up underneath. Colton Hunt just picked up his third foul. Now he picked up two fouls in the first quarter and did sitting on the bench there for a while. He now has picked up his third foul here in the first minute of the third quarter. And there is a, are they gonna call offensive foul? It is an offensive foul, Jacob Pittman. Now he has picked up his third foul. Pittman's coming back out of the ball game right now as McCain back in for the Wildcats. Peyton Smith. Thompson, he has a couple of three-pointers here. There's a three-point attempt off the rim. Battle underneath. Kyle Bill has the rebound. He's getting hounded underneath there. Finally out to Rodgers. Rodgers pass underneath to Robertson, and it does not fall. Hunt with the rebound. Rebound or uh, Hunt underneath, and that one does fall for Jalen Berry. That's his basket, and Annie Marks is going to take a full timeout here with 6:18 to go as the Cougars have climbed back within a point. That's the closest they've been since the first minute of the ball game here. Let's thank our crew out here tonight that's come out. Our camera people, Laney Nelson, Blake Carrico. On graphics, Trey Capo. Also helping out with us tonight, we got a Harrison Senior, Carter Fry. Carter, welcome on board here tonight. Got a great high school that you go to out here tonight. We mentioned that Michael uh, Asher is our, our director, producer. We always need volunteers. If you want to come out and volunteer for us, please get in touch with icrctv.com. And uh, you can ask for our main guy, Jason Dudley. He's, we need you. So uh, you have come out here and have a lot of fun. You see our camera personnel over there. It's a pretty neat experience, trust me. I've been in it for now for, uh, let's see, what is this? 2013, this is my 42nd year here. With, and I've done it all. I've done camera work, done the uh, graphics, directing. Behind the mic here. As I said many times before, if it wasn't for these great volunteers, I'd be standing around here talking to myself. And that'd be weird. Six minutes ago, old ball is taken away by Eddie Thompson. The feed is to uh, the feed is to Jacob Barry. He gets his second basket of the quarter, and the Cougars have taken their first lead of the night. He is fouled. Rogers picks up the foul. Barry, 38% foul shooter. Got that one. Barry has five points in this quarter, seven for the game. And all of a sudden, the Cougars now are up by two. Trying to break a five-game losing streak. There's a shot up, forced up, and no good by Rogers. Winia breaks it up, coming back the other direction, so slows the Cougars down a little bit. We're triggering the ball in in front of their own bench. Peyton Smith. And Peyton with the ball. Peyton, a little spin move, and they're going to call him for a foul. Going to call him for an offensive foul. Peyton Smith picks up his second foul. He pushed off. We got a... 
And we got a player down. We got Evan down here again. Evan winning, he took the brunt of that. Young man's been taking a brunt of a beating here tonight, but keeps on going. We'll give him our Energized Bunny Award of the Game. Just keeps on ticking. Kyle Bill now triggering in for Harrison. Winnie and bringing the ball over the timeline, being guarded closely by Ballantyne. Bill. Bill dishes it off to Winnie. Bill with three point attempt. Off the rim, battle for rebound. Robertson with the rebound. Shot was no good by number two, Braden Campbell, is in the game. And Kyle Bill, though, picks up the foul. His second, team's third. Five minutes ago here. Harrison is yet to score in this quarter. And there's, we're going to have a foul coming up, but it's going to be on the floor. Foul is on uh, Donovan McCain. That's his second foul. It's not a shooting foul. Cougars have the ball underneath their basket. Smith triggering in way out deep to Thompson. Thompson looking for Smith. It uh, comes back out. A drive and into the paint. Driveway uh, Valentine. Connor Valentine, though, commits an offensive foul. It's two offensive fouls we've had in this quarter already. Both on. Uh, actually, three. Two on Edgewood, one on Harrison. Rogers, and that's short again by Robertson. Well, he has been quiet since the beginning of the game. Had the first seven points, hasn't had a point since. Peyton Smith with the drive and the basket. Four point lead now. Smith has nine. Approaching the halfway point of quarter number three. Eddie Thompson picks up his second foul, and that's the team's fourth. And Braden Campbell, a 78% foul shooter at the line, gets his first point of the night. Brings his Wildcats back within three. Misses that one. Thompson quickly up the floor, in and out. Thompson goes over the top of Winnia. No foul called on it. Both teams have four fouls now. Kyle Bill now triggering in for the Wildcats. Cougars have full court pressure right now. Now backing off on it. Rogers over the timeline. Kyle Bill. And that's a foul coming up on Connor Valentine picks up his third foul. And that is the fifth now. 
Looks like Ballantyne will be coming out. Colton Hunt back in the ball game. Rogers underneath the basket, got it. Luke Rogers, his first basket of this half, 13th point of the game for him. Back to a one-point ball game now. Nice look underneath. That's a nice look from Hunt into Barry. Barry now has his seventh point of the quarter, and he is fouled. Evan Winian picks up his first foul. That is the fifth now. Each team has five fouls. Barry trying to complete the three-point play, the heart with the easy way there. He's got it. Evan Barry has come alive this quarter. Eight points in this quarter. Ten total for the game. Barry's high for the season is 13 against Fenwick. Bill cross court. Travel on McMurdo. McMurdo's out of the ball game right now. Jacob Pittman's back in. Pittman playing with three fouls. You see uh, Coach Andy Marks over in the bench. Evan Schwartz with the ball. Over the Hunt. Hunt trying to look into Smith. Knocked out of bounds by Harrison. Cougars ball under their basket. Peyton Smith triggering the ball in. Baseline drive by Colton Hunt. He's got it. Colton's got eight points. And has given now the Cougars their biggest lead of the night at six. Cougars won the JV game tonight, and they came from behind to win that game. Long three-pointer off the rim by Robertson. Hunt back the other direction. Now he slows it down. And that is knocked away by Rodgers. Oh no, they said it was off of off of Edgewood player. Ryan Wortley back in the ball game now for Edgewood. And that ball and that is broken up underneath. Harrison only only had four turnovers the first half. Got at least that many of them in this quarter. And that's a turnover now, or is it? We got a possession call, and it's going to go to Harrison. Cal Bill triggering the ball in right in front of us. Jake Valerio, 5'10", senior in the ball game, number one. I believe he's seen his first action here tonight. 1.15 to go here in quarter number three. Wildcats got some work to do. They're down by six. Rogers with the drive off the ball. He knocks it back out, though, to Kyle Bill. Three-point attempt, and he drains it. Luke Rogers, first three-pointer. He had six the other night. That's his first one here. 16 points now. Cut that lead in half. 
40 seconds to go here in quarter number three. Looks like the Cougars might be playing for one shot under 25 seconds now. Barry over the Thompson. Back to Swartz. Back to Valero. Now, start it again, Thompson. Barry puts it up and in. Whoa. Jacob Barry, what a quarter he's had. He scored 10 points in this quarter as the, as the Cougars now have taken a four, five point lead going into quarter number four. We'll be back for that fourth quarter in just a moment, don't go away. All right, back here, quarter number four. You know, Coach March said one of the problems they had at the beginning of the season was not completing the game. They were leading in many of those games that they lost early in the season. This is kind of similar to that right now. They had to lead for most of the, for all the second half. They lost in the third quarter. Now they got to climb back and come from behind. Cougars ball with a five-point lead, and we have a foul on Rodgers. Oh, no, wait a minute. That went the other direction. It's Evan Swartz, illegal pick. That's their sixth foul, so Harrison will be on the foul line the rest of the night now. They have five fouls themselves, though. Trying to whittle that lead. Rogers kicks it back out to Bill. Back into Robertson. Robertson up and in. Caleb Robertson, his first basket since early in the game now. Back to a three point game. 6'6 six, six senior. Good job underneath the basket. Getting this uh, Harrison crowd a little rowdy right now. Colton Hunt playing way out high. He's being guarded by J Jacob Pittman. Edgewood not in a big hurry, looking for that good shot. Trying to get somebody free underneath. Yeah, I have nobody underneath. All playing the perimeter right now. Uh, and now they found somebody underneath. They found Evan Swartz for his first basket of the game. Patience there as they held the ball for almost a minute and got the basket. To go up by five again, and shot was no good from the baseline. Hunt with the rebound.
Thompson, three-point attempt. In and out. Rebounded by Winia. Big 6'6", six, six, Robertson playing out very deep right now. Now into Rodgers, and off the rim. Could not fall. Hunt with the rebound again. Five point lead right now. The Cougars are being content to play for that good shot. No sense of urgency for them right now. Jason Osterman's going to call a timeout. Hits his third timeout. He has used here. Coming up on the schedule right now, Harrison. They will be uh, tomorrow night, Saturday, at Anderson. Then they'll be at Talawanda on the 20th. And actually, they're going to be on the road for a couple weeks here. At East Central Indiana, at Mount Healthy, they will not be back in this gym until January 27th when they play Northwest. And then they finish the season with four games in a row. They had quite a few home games at the beginning of the season. The end of the season, Harrison's going to spend a lot of time on the road here. Edgewood will have Carroll on Saturday night. Then they'll be at Cole Rain on Tuesday the 17th. They finish the season. These two teams will play the final regular season game at Edgewood. Approaching the four minute mark in the game. Shot was no good. Rebounded by Campbell. Braden Campbell in the game, the, the junior. Rogers looking into Robertson. Robertson and loses the ball underneath. But he is fouled. Jalen Berry picks up his second foul. That is now the seventh. So Kayla Robertson, a 78% foul shooter, at the line for the first time tonight. And he got that one. So he is now in double figures. Came in at 13.3 a game. Gets them both. And Harrison now has called a timeout. So Andy Marks has called a timeout here. Talawan and Ross are leading the league right now. They're both three and one. And then you have Harrison and Northwest both at two and two. So you have legitimately four teams with a shot at the league title here at the halfway point of the league competition of the season. You know, the Southwest Ohio League is kind of interesting because they started back in 2013, and they had eight teams. And then uh, two years later, they lost Wilmington. And then uh, back in 2020, they lost Little Miami. Interesting, the two teams they lost were the two farthest teams away from anybody else here in the, in the league. So they've gone from eight down to six, but the six teams are original teams. Long pass, and that is fouled by Winia. Peyton Smith. So that's a six foul, it's not a shooting foul. 
but Edgewood will be on the line the rest of the night. Harrison has never won a SWAC title. As we said, Edgewood won their first ever last year. Oh, nice feed from Barry into Peyton. Peyton now in the double figures. Evan Winningham picks up his foul, his third. And now both teams will be at the line the rest of the night. Peyton Smith, perfect four for four from the line tonight. He now has 12 points. Robertson, and it's short, but he is fouled. Looks like Schwartz picked up the foul. That's his third. It's the eighth now on the... Uh, Robertson now back to the foul line. As we said, he had the first seven points of the ball game. Was quiet in the second and third quarter. Now has five points in this quarter. Twelve for the game. Perfect four for four from the line. And we have a four-point game again. 3.15 to go. Now the Wildcats are putting on full court press. And it worked as the Cougars throw the ball away. Jacob Pippen triggering in. Winniam with the ball. And guarded by Barry. Winniam drives into pain, and it's good. Evan Winniam, his sixth point. A one possession game now. Both teams were in close ones this week. Harrison beating Ross. And Peyton Smith with the basket. And Edgewood losing to uh, Mount Healthy by two. Four point lead now. 14 for Peyton Smith. Getting close to his average. Pittman kicks it back out to Winia. Winia drives the paint. Puts about a five-footer up. Partially blocked. Battle underneath. And a last touch by the Cougars. So Harrison gets the ball underneath the basket. 1.58 to go here in this contest. Two possession game right now. Little turn, spin, the moon doesn't fall. Rogers, though, is fouled. Eddie Thompson picks up his third foul. That's the ninth foul now. Rogers at the line. He's seven for eight tonight. Leading scorer in the game with 16. Got it in, rolled it around. He's having a nice follow-up game to his 29-point performance the other night at Ross. Got them both. Now back to a one-possession game. 18 now for Rodgers. Thompson. Thompson alone for the three-pointer. Off the rim. Offensive rebound by Schwartz. Colton Hunt being guarded by Winia. And that's Barry. It doesn't go. Robertson with the rebound. Kyle Bill now bringing the ball up the floor for the Wildcats. And we have a timeout. Harrison calling a full Harrison full timeout. Each team, each team has three timeouts. 123 to go in a game. The possession arrow goes 
in favor of the Wildcats. Edgewood has nine fouls, so the next foul will be double bonus. So we have ourselves a good one here tonight. And Harrison started off the game at the end of the first quarter is 15 to four. So they had a double digit lead down to 27 to 22 at halftime. And then in the second half, Cougars outscored the Wildcats in that third quarter to take the lead. They've had as much as a six point lead. Down to one basket right now. I can once again I'd like to thank you for watching here tonight. If you want to go and see where this game is, we will replay this game. Just go to icrctv.com. See all the replay times. And there you see on the screen, we need volunteers. Come out and help us with this. Have a lot of fun out here. We've had a lot of young people get their start in their TV career helping us out here at ICRC TV. 1.13 to go. Harrison with the ball. And they are being very meticulous right now looking for that good shot. One minute, three-point attempt, in and out. And by Rogers, Peyton Smith with the rebound. Schwartz. The Cougars are going to be very content to melt that clock right now. One basket lead. Winia commits the foul. That'll be the eighth foul. Winnie picks up his fourth foul. They have eight fouls, so it's still one and one now for the Cougars. Colton Hunt in and out. Bill with the rebound. Big miss right there. Baseline drive, tripped, and somehow got kept the ball inbounds. Battle underneath. Possession, and it's going to go to Harrison. It almost looked like Kyle Bill tried to call a timeout right there, but they had already blown it dead. So Harrison with the ball underneath the basket. Winnie is going to be triggering it in. 20.2 seconds to go. They are going to take a timeout right now. Andy Marks wants to talk this one over. This team has a chance now to tie the game, maybe even take the lead, depending on what happens here. Harrison. Wildcats are trying, trying to win their third in a row. Cougars are trying to break a five-game losing streak right now. And, of course, Harrison trying to keep pace here for the League title. 20.2 seconds ago in this contest right now. We mentioned before that Harrison and uh, Edgewood have played 21 times since the league has started. One time they did play in, uh, in uh, postseason. Harrison won that one. But uh, they've been pretty even over the years. If you take away the postseason play, during regular season play, they came into this game each winning 10 times. Now here we go. Robertson, Rogers, in the Rob in the Bill, Kyle Bill. Shot no good, rebounded. And then I think an immediate foul. 12.2 seconds to go. Kyle Bill commits the foul. 
his third. That's the team's ninth, so it's still one and one now. That puts Colton Hunt back at the line. He missed the last one and one opportunity. And he gets that one, though. Hunt now has nine. Now trying to make it a two-possession game. He misses it. Rebound. Up the floor comes Winia. Rogers. And we have a foul on uh, Jalen Berry. Jalen Berry, that's his third foul, and that's the tenth foul now for uh, for the Cougars. So Rogers is going to have two attempts now. Gets the first one. 19 points, leading scorer of the game right now. And Edgewood's going to call a timeout. They're going to try to ice him right now. That's Jason Osterman's fourth timeout. Each team has one timeout left. Possession still in favor of the uh, Harrison Wildcats. We have a two-point game here with 6.1 seconds to go. And there's the Harrison band. I tell you, they brought all the drummers out tonight. <laughs> so uh, making a lot of noise out there, but doing a great job here. And once again, another shout out to Mark Mibers, the athletic director here at Harrison. Thank you very much for uh, hosting us here on this cold uh, January night. We got a lot of basketball coming up here, so keep an eye out here for ICRC TV for uh, games coming up. Got a couple of games coming up next week. We got St. Bernard next uh, Wednesday night, and I think we have Mason on Friday night. So a lot of action here on ICRC TV and we got a lot of action in this game right now. Now we're into the old classic. Will Rogers try the miss and they get the two point opportunity. Or he's gonna try and make it, let's see. Oh, he makes them both, he's got 20. One point ball game. They will probably foul immediately. They do. Now that will be the tenth foul on uh, on uh, Harrison as Caleb Robinson's first foul. So it's going to be two shots now with 4.9 seconds to go. Colton Hunt sinks that one. And misses it, but offensive rebound by Schwartz. They ran about a second off the clock there. He's fouled immediately. Robertson with the second foul. So now you put Schwartz on the line. He is only a 27% foul shooter. But he makes that one, and that was a big one. Evan Schwartz only has three points all in this quarter. This one could be a dagger right now. He makes them both. Four-point lead. Annie Marks is going to call a timeout here. You might as well. Can't take him with you, it's his fifth time out. So 3.2 seconds to go. The Cougars have a four point lead trying to upset the Harrison Wildcats here on their home floor. Now if I was Coach Osterman, I would tell his players just let them go up the floor and try to get a three pointer. Don't contest the three pointer. They have no timeouts left. So as a result of that, Harrison can't stop the clock even if they make the three-pointer. 
So let's see what the uh, Wild, uh, what the Cougars will do. They have four guys playing up the floor right now. If you give him the uncontested three-pointer, you still win the game. Kyle Bill, pass intercepted by Colton Hunt, and the Cougars have just pulled off an upset here tonight as they beat the Harrison Wildcats 49 to 45 to improve to two and three in the league. Harrison goes to also two and three in the league. Luke Rogers had a game high 20 points, and Peyton Smith 14 with uh, Colton Hunt 12 points in the game and Caleb Robertson 13 points for the Wildcats. So the Wildcats six and seven on the season. Edgewood improves to three and nine and breaks that five game win streak. Thanks again to our crew here tonight at Harrison High School. This is Bill Bretz from the entire crew saying your final score, Edgewood 49, Harrison 45, good night.